A pool A game is on the field next between New Zealand and Kenya. New Zealand are well ahead as they are. It reflects their dominance on the tour. Uh, over the uh, 16 years we've been uh, travelling with the tour. And uh, there are the two teams, and Gordon Titch is the New Zealand coach, has wasted no time here. He's putting out his top lineup. You see it there, Mickelson, Forbes, and uh, Dixon in the forwards. Waka at half back, and on the outer players, uh, Ormond, Ware, and uh, Baker. But uh, don't write off this Kenyan team. They've uh, got some very fine players. The brilliant Oscar Uma, the brothers Kayengi and Injira, uh, a most accomplished team across the board. And both these teams unbeaten against Russia and Portugal. So here they come. In the black, it's New Zealand. In the red, it's Kenya. And the Kenyan fans are here. And they are here early and they are loud early for the hopes and dreams of this uh, lineup. And here's the New Zealand team which will do their best, their utmost, to stop them as they've done so many times. There's the pool. Both of these teams will qualify for the cup round, but it's a matter of the winner of this game will um, will obviously go top of the pool. There is the uh, referee for this one, Ben Krauss, from South Africa. I'm Keith Quinn. I'm from New Zealand. I've got to state that from the start. And so is Carl Tanana, my co-commentator. But for this game, Carl, we are down the middle, aren't we? Oh, most definitely. And what I expect from this Kenyan team, Keith, is for them to test New Zealand, New Zealand physically, as you spoke about, they've got a huge crowd support here. They won't be daunted by the black jersey, whereas New Zealand, they want to move it fast, try and get it to the far wings, and then open up holes in the middle. Good. There's the captain of the New Zealand team for ready? this game, Tim Mickelson. He gives a thumbs up to referee Ben Krauss of South Africa. And Krauss's whistle signals the beginning of this uh, game. And Biko Adima makes the start for Kenya. Well, the weather is warm. The question is, are these two teams hot for the action this morning? Straight away we see Regan Ware and making the use of his sidestep and straight away we see a very fine tackle by Billy Odiambo a tussle for the ball Baker gets away from Odiambo's pass and there is what Carl has talked about big physical approach by Kenya well there is using their big frames the Kenyans they know if they can test New Zealand they'll try and draw their defenders in and then shift the ball quickly good defence in the end by Tim Mickelson, but as a, that is a huge lead off for the New Zealand team. We're very bunched at the moment. But Carl, we've got to ask you, there's been a kind of uh, paradigm shift by Gordon Titchens this year. He has previously uh, kind of complained about the fact he's looking for speed, looking for speed. I haven't got any speedy guys. This year he's got a lot of big men to play the middle of the field. So what do you think, mate? He's gone, but he's forgotten about the, he, He's decided not to have the speed as an emphasis, rather the power play now. Yeah, well, you haven't got the cattle, then you can't use it. I mean, he's gone for the power. Regan Ware shows a lot of it there. Straightens up, takes out two defenders. Probably should have given it a step earlier to Kurt Baker. A missed opportunity for sure for New Zealand. And in these big games, you have to take every single one. Fine. But to look at the man with the ball in the red shirt, that's Collins in Jira. Now, he has speed to burn. We've seen that on his brilliant try scoring ability. Jira, one of the finest players on the tour. And there's again another crush from Oscar Uma. They're really putting the pressure on the New Zealand team with physicality and widespread passing here. position you control the pace of the game and Kenya at the moment are dominating it this is how you do a late drop off 
the defence is drifting across. The runner who receives the ball is running straight and he hits it nice as Oscar Ayodi. And they get the points rolling first in this game. Okay, let's go. Kick goes over. There is reward for Kenya. 7 to 0. When well, a team is vulnerable in this first game, Keys, and I think that's what Kenya are aware of. They know they have to get off to a fast start. New Zealand just can't get their hands on the ball. They had an opportunity only moments earlier. Didn't take it. The difference is Kenya took theirs. Behind the line. The early try, halfway through the first half, goes to Kenya. The restart comes from Biko Adema. of a change of look for Gordon Titchens. He has that look on his face. Win, lose or draw, rain, hail or sleet. Well, he knows against a team such as Kenya. You have to put them away early. You have to get two or three or four tries up in the first half. Otherwise, it's going to be a street fight all day long. And he knows New Zealand need a score and they need a score quickly. Big support for the team in red. Bodine Waka. Watched closely by Collins and Jira. Waka has been muscled. Number eight is doing good work. Amonde, the captain. Dixon worked hard yesterday and got a try in each of the New Zealand games yesterday. Forbes number four, Baker. He also got tries in each of the games and that one's lost forward. Just not working for New Zealand with two minutes to play in the first half. Yeah, just haven't got that fluid vibe at the moment in the New Zealand team. Everyone's probably pushing a little bit too hard. Kurt Baker gets the ball ripped away, but some keen defence here from this Kenyan side. Collins and Jarrah doing some great work over the top. Yeah, watch the stable. He's got the lumberjack beard. Uh, DJ Forbes, sometimes he'll take it off on day three. Fine. Uh, that's the day New Zealand try to do the business. It's come for Kenya again. My word, they're playing well here, playing brilliantly. Taking it down there was Oddi Yumbo. Damages when they're doing these late cuts and switches. You can see there New Zealand's line's broken and staggered. They always have players in and around the ball. This Kenyan team, their running style is so strong, and there's nothing Bodie Waka can do about that. The other day, Mike Friday, the former coach of Kenya, was uh, interviewed by World Rugby and uh, was asked the, the, the best players he'd seen in all his years of travelling and being involved with England and with Kenya, now with USA. And he put Oscar Uma there on his list of four or five of the great men of uh, World Sevens Rugby. And uh, there was a good example, probably, of why he has rated him so highly, 30 seconds to play, 12 to nil to Kenya. There'll be no panic, panic amongst this New Zealand camp, but they do need the kickoff. That's where they dominated on day one. They haven't been able to secure a, a clean one yet in this game. Deep kick. Waka. Dixon thrown down. Bodine Waka. Oh, here we go. Chance for Kenya just before the break. The timing has gone into the half time. There goes the big siren. He's going to have a shot for goal. He's going to have a shot for goal. This is a smart move. We saw it yesterday. If it is successful, it takes it out to a three score lead. And I'll back their defence to the Kenyan team. Well, we've seen that his kickoffs. Uh, Biko Adema is uh, pretty handy on the snapshot. Gets a very even bounce off the artificial turf. Wind at his back. Let's it fly. Look how it does fly. But away to the left. 
So it didn't quite work for Kenya in that instance, but they played a great first half to lead New Zealand at the break 12-0. Well, yes, we heard some salty language there, but uh, it indicates the heat of the moment for the uh, new from the New Zealand camp there. And uh, my word, they're under the pressure here, 12 to nil. But uh, you're saying there won't be much worry, Carl Tanana. Well, the common theme I got from both huddles is that they need to be precise and they need to be aggressive. That's probably the word I got out of both huddles. The indecision by New Zealand, especially on the tackles, the worrying theme. In defence, they have to get up and have more pressure, try and create some turnovers to miss too many tackles. Just remember we have quite a strong breeze this afternoon here in Las Vegas and as you're watching it's right to left in your screen. Now there we see a kick for touch from the receipt of the kickoff. I'm not sure about that decision. I know they're trying to get out of their own territory in Kenya but it just gives away the ball. Look at that. Let's see if there's a kick for position from New Zealand with the wind behind them. A little bit of hesitancy in midfield and now a fumble. And here's Waka caught by Kayangi. It was nearly the perfect read in defensive by Kayangi. He should have backed himself a little bit more. You can see there he was caught in no man's land. It was 50-50 ready to go for it. Or well, not in the end, he just knocks it on. Well, but New Zealand setting up the play, take it to the midfield, try and bounce back, bounce back the blind. As Gilly's Kaka, the creator, comes on for Bodie Gaka for New Zealand. Let's go, gentlemen. Let's go, you waste the time as well. Crouch. Fine. Sit. So Bodine Waka is on for New Zealand. I'm sorry, uh, Gilly's Kaka on Bodine Waka gone. Ruben Ware is a, is a handful, isn't he? Oh, he's a side. Four. I've got it wide at last to Dixon. Oh, so this is Orman out wide. And Mickelson, stay, yeah, stay. he waits, he passes. Kaka. Midfield collision, ball lost forward. The ball out in front there he was under pressure against some great defense coming off this line. I'm not sure who it was for Kenya. You can see there okay. the peripheries of Sam Dixon just saw someone that coming out from his left side. And it, it is a pressure ball. Cross. Andrew Amonde coming through. Fine. Sit. Go back to it. Go back. Five. Go. Go. Yo, put it in. And Jira puts it in. New Zealand have no scrum half there, he's well back. And Jira, remember him, he's the big speedster. He's made the space and a lovely run in for William Bucker. Uh, if you think about testing on that side, you can use that line. Well, great recognition there from, from the Kenyan team. Minutes. They actually wheel the scrum to the left. And what that does for Kenyan, yeah, the Kenyan team, Collins and Jira, Jira has no marker on him. And look at the players come out of the scrum there is three there they do the hard work and in the end he's just too strong William Bucker but look at the look on the face of Colin Chintera it's so intense beautiful celebrations Oh, delight for Kenya. Biko Adema's kick is a good one. There is the try scorer, Willy Ambaka. Look at that. Points stacking up against New Zealand now. 19 to nil. Still a long time in this game, though, Keith. Three scores. There's nothing in the game of seven. So by no means is this game over. But New Zealand need this ball. They need to score quick. Back to a long 
time for a previous win by Kenya over New Zealand. That was in Wellington, 2013. And they met in a semi-final out there, in, uh, back there in New Zealand. So home so defeat for New Zealand. They weren't happy that night. Looking along the New Zealand uh, bench there. There's uh, Liam Messam in the foreground, DJ Forbes. Remember, both these teams have qualified, but that won't alter the hurt for New Zealand if they score the big uh, buck egg here and get beaten by Kenya, who are still playing it at a million miles an hour. And now it's gone to Orman. And now Mickelson has it. But they're still back in their own half of the field. And uh, good work in there by Ulietz. Look at the keenness though on the pitch from this king inside. They are just amongst everything. The confidence is flowing. This is a huge mistake by New Zealand. I think someone was in the five, so can you get this ball? And now this is a tough road for New Zealand to get back. Or to slow the play down, take their time, this Kenyan team. New Zealand has won 36 times against Kenya's three. Leave it now, rock. But it's so even now in sevens. Sometimes they nail you, and sometimes you nail them. Referee Kraus. Wait. Wait. He's calling out one of the New Zealanders here. Gillies Tucker tried to explain how that happened. That's watching his top right. He goes in. And it's one of those rolls, uh, Carl. Yeah, just dangerous play there. You can't pull the guy head first into the turf. There's a responsibility to the tackle to bring that player down in a safe position. No problem, the penalty goal goes over and this is going to be a walk away now for Kenya at 22 to nil over New Zealand. What I've liked about this Kenyan performance, Keith, is that they played the game in the right area of the field. They've dominated in that sense territory. And that guy, he will not be happy as he spent, especially not being able to score. That's been the thing for me. He coming into the picture off. there, Liam Messam. Well, with 30 seconds to go, not much chance for him Come to on. do much here. Let's go. And Sam Dixon goes off. Let's go. One of the try scorers, Collins and Jira. One of the great try scorers of the whole years of the tour. And he's kind of dropped back the gold out there just about. Uh, in other words, send the New Zealanders right back. of those wins by Kenya over New Zealand to repeat there have only been three in the history of the HSBC 7 series and it's earlier names back in 1999 the start of the tour this is the biggest one ever and uh, that's a rarity to see New Zealand win Please. nil and Kenya are all over New Zealand like a cheap suit here in this game no doubt about the winners here at 22 to nil. And look at the way the Kenyans have dominated on the board, of course, in the scoring, but on the field in territory and in the possession in percentages too. And they go to the top of the table with this 22 to nil score at the moment. And it's over. And it's a great win for the team on the field delighted the fans in the stands delirious they got up early to get here on day two and the game early on and well worth the trip to the outer edges of Las Vegas to see this scoreline go up in Kenya's favour 
by 22 to nil. Just look at the stats that uh, favoured the winning team here. And the pool table after the completion of that match now sees Kenya top, and New Zealand second. So those two teams go through to the cup round and uh, Russia and Portugal will play at the lower levels. But a fantastic vote of confidence there for Kenya.